It has been over three months since Japan was hit by a devastating earthquake and tsunami, and it's expected to take additional time before cold shutdown of all reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant will be achieved. The emergency in Japan serves as an important wake-up call for the United States and the rest of the world, and we cannot afford to ignore it. If there's one lesson to be learned, and this is the lesson I think is the most important, we must plan for the unexpected. Because as the Japanese told us, uh, they planned for the expected, not for the unexpected. I'm pleased to see that the NRC is taking initial steps to reevaluate current assumptions about the safety and the security of nuclear power plants in the US in light of what has happened in Japan. And these are the things that I am pleased about. The NRC's inspectors have inspected and issued reports on the 104 operating nuclear reactors and their readiness to address power losses or damage following extreme events. And the NRC is in the middle of a 90-day task force review of its processes and regulations in light of the events in Japan. I want to talk a bit about the two uh, nuclear power plants in California, which I visited recently. Um, the most recent inspections of California's two nuclear power plants turned up numerous problems that need to be corrected. Among other things, NRC's inspections at Diablo Canyon Power Plant found that state highways and access roads needed to reach diesel fuel and an alternative seawater source for cooling may be inaccessible after an earthquake. And hoses needed to get cooling water from the reservoir to the plant were blocked by a security fence. Now, I want to correct myself. The uh, Diablo I haven't visited in a while, but San Onofre I recently visited. And as a matter of fact, I met uh, one of the commissioners there who was extremely helpful. NRC's inspections at San Onofre generating stations, and this is a plant that is surrounded by millions of people within 50 miles. What did we say, it was seven million? About seven million, 7.4 million within 50 miles. This is what you found. A lack of a written agreement for a fuel oil supply to support emergency diesel generators for more than seven days. And you found that some firefighting equipment was stored in locations that could be impacted by an earthquake. Now, firefighting equipment that is stored in a place that can't be located, if there's an earthquake, it doesn't do us any good. I have additional concerns about seismic issues at both California plants. Diablo Canyon has submitted its application to the NRC for license review. The 3D seismic studies need to be considered as part of the license renewal at Diablo. It's very important. I, I find it very strange that they would try to get a license before they have the latest information. And the latest information uh, will be part of the 3D seismic studies. I expect the NRC to close, oh, and, 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 and also 3D seismic studies should be part of NRC's review of San Onofre's license renewal application once it is submitted. They haven't submitted it yet, as you know. And I, I lauded them for that, because I think there's more work that needs to be done. I expect the NRC to closely examine the results of these inspections in California and other states across the country, as well as re-examine the current regulations, such as what is considered in the NRC's review of license renewal applications. And I expect the Commission to implement the task force recommendations. It doesn't help us to have these recommendations if you don't implement them. The health and safety of all Americans hangs in the balance. I applaud the Commission for making the results of its inspections of the nuclear power fleet available to the public immediately after compilation by NRC staff in May and June. I believe it's critical for public confidence in the safety of our nuclear facilities that the results of the 90-day task force report be available to the public as soon as it is compiled by NRC staff in July. 
To me, complete openness, transparency, and prompt disclosure are vital to maintaining the federal government's credibility and the confidence of the American people. I want to thank all five members of the Commission for being here today to provide us with preliminary results of the nuclear review that is underway. As chairman of this committee, I will continue to provide vigorous oversight to make sure that we learn all we can from the Fukushima emergency. The safety of the American people, above all, is our number one priority, and I look forward to working with each of you to make sure that the United States of America has taken every appropriate precaution to ensure our nuclear power plants are managed in the safest possible manner. 